Today on Trisha, the truth comes out. Casey is here to prove that Rashawn is the father of her little boy. Since the day I met that man, I have been with him and only him. Rashawn says baby Jace is the wrong color to be his son. The baby's white. I'm black, my mom's black, my dad's black, and my brother Mo is black. You're not that exactly. black, really. You know, hey. The DNA results are in. <laughs> Stacy, Gracie, AC, and Tyrone are all here to prove that Ernest is their real father. Talking about our mom, that she had an affair? That's nothing personal. It's personal if you're denying our four of us. Apparently, our mom is trashy. Why did this dad break the hearts of his adult children? Daddy, why would you say something like that? I'm hurt all over. How can my dad deny me? This is the only dad I know. Four DNA test results could devastate this family. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Rumors are driving Chris to deny he's the father of Stephanie's little boy. Another guy even told me that he had sex with Stephanie. He also said that he could be Skylar's father. Chris's own mother is here, and she says her son needs to man up. My son is acting like an idiot. For him to deny Skylar like that really pisses me off. Can a DNA test put the rumors to rest? Today on Trisha. <laughs> this is Casey. For three years, Casey devoted her life to her now ex-boyfriend, Roshan. Now, they even had a son together named Jace. But when, yeah, little Jace turned two months old, Roshan abruptly vanished, leaving Casey to raise her son all on her own. Now, just two weeks ago, Casey got the shock of her life when she ran into Roshan, and the only thing he had to say to her was, Jace is not my son because Get this, he's too white. Oh. Now, Casey blames one person for Rashan's denial, his brother Mo. Listen to this. Casey and I had a great relationship way back then, but oh, have things changed. I just don't think I'm the father of her son, Jace. I'm black, my mom's black, my dad's black, and my brother Mo is black. And this baby is white. That's the number one reason why this baby isn't mine. When I had seen that picture of the baby on Facebook, I immediately showed my brother. I was shocked. Jace is a white man's baby, and my brother is black. Do I need another reason? This baby has straight blonde hair and bright blue eyes. If anything, this baby should at least look mixed. Casey and I were broken up for three months, and we didn't even have sex during that time. As soon as we got back together, then boom, she's pregnant. I don't even give a damn if Casey blamed me for all this. I shot off from the rooftops. My brother is not the baby dad. Here's the bottom line. A black man doesn't make a white baby. Therefore, I am not the father. I hope Casey can finally accept that when the truth is revealed. Well, yeah. you just heard Roshan and Mo's side of it. Now, Roshan's backstage and Mo is here in the audience and we'll talk to them soon. But first, how do you feel about what you just heard? That's crazy for one. Okay, yes, he's white. Look at me. I mean, he looks just like me. I have blonde hair, blue eyes, okay? He's a cutie now. Right. So you two were together for three years, you and Rashad. A little over. Uh -huh. Good relationship? Mm-hmm. So why did you split up? Last thing I heard from him, he said, I love you, I'll talk to you in the morning. Yeah. Never heard from him since that minute. How long ago was that? Um, eight months ago. Eight months ago. Were you very much in love with him? Do you still love him? Mm-hmm. He's suspicious about the timing of your pregnancy. Had you split up or anything? We split up for three months, and we did have sex that whole time. Oh, you did? <laughs> so, did he deny the baby when the baby was born? After that three months, we got back together. Yeah. We were together the whole time. So, he was there throughout the pregnancy? He was there. He was holding my legs while I was having the baby. Whose name's on the birth certificate? Who signed His. it? He signed the affidavit of paternity, so, everything. I don't understand. So why is he denying it? Because what? my son looks white. But who put But that... I'm white. Look how white he is. Yeah, but what I don't get, why didn't he deny the baby from the get-go? Because you... when the baby came out, he looked just like him. Oh, and who my do you... son, My son has a lazy eye. 
He had a lazy eye. Where you he, think he came from? This is Rashawn's Mo, brother. That's Mo, his brother. Do you blame Mo for some of these doubts? Absolutely. I mean, Rashawn, he's a grown man, okay? Yeah. He should never let anybody put anything in his head. But you need to mind your business and go worry about the baby that you're wondering if it's short. Oh. See, see so, that's the only, that's another thing. Genes don't Find only come from parent your, to parent. They the... come down the family. Yeah. But still, at the so same me, time. Me, no, have you seen this baby in person? Two days ago was my first time so seeing the baby So where did you see person. the baby that brought up all these doubts? On Facebook, like three months, like two months ago. And what did you say to your brother when you'd seen those pictures? Man, you was not the father. So you're the one who said, started saying that? Yes. He the didn't first, have any doubts. The doubt. first time I seen him, I knew, yeah. So are you telling me your brother didn't have at any first, doubts until you I, said it? Yeah, at first, I, don't, I don't really know. Let me come to you. Is there any chance that while the two of you were split up, were you in a relationship with anyone else? Never. Since the day I met that man, I have been with him and only him. Even when you were split up? Only when we was, ne I mean, never. Like, I've never been with anyone. Oh, wow. So, uh, Rashawn, now, is he... he can't stay the same. Oh, has he cheated on you? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure, you know, the person who always cheats blames the other person. Oh. <laughs> so, has he... Has he seen the baby? Two weeks ago, we went to child support, and he showed up, and that's the first time he has seen him in eight months. Has he bought him anything? He bought him a bag of diapers before we came here. That's it? Mm -hmm. I buy everything. I have an eight-year-old, and I have him and I buy everything for my kids. I make sure my kids have everything. But I guess they have everything except a dad in their lives. Right. So now it's time to hear for, from Rashan himself. Rashan, come on out. Hi. Really? We wasn't having sex. We wasn't doing no, we any wasn't. of that. We didn't have sex. <laughs> really? Yeah, you really. are phony as And then three I months. heard. And then three I months. heard. Three months, really? Yeah, and yeah, then, really. okay, and then, oh, now you have another baby with another white girl, and but she's dark. Let's talk about mm -hmm. you two. So are you saying. Let's see what kind of man he is. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you were still sleeping together when you split up? No, nah, no, he wasn't. So for three months, no, you wasn't. didn't go near her, you didn't have sex nope. at all? Nope, because she was once. begging me to come back for those three months, and I wouldn't. You never went back <laughs> once? <laughs> nah, uh -uh, not Are once. you sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. So is that, is that what your denial's based on, or is it because the baby looks too white? Which one, or both together? The denial is not that, you know, I believe that she was having sex while we wasn't, you know what I'm saying, while we was broke up. The thing is, the baby's white. That's my uh, biggest thing. But who, who, what does that mean? Look at you and look at me. Look at that baby. Could anybody not think look that we should make a white look looking him. baby? What, 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 like... I ain't never seen it before. Why? Uh... <laughs> Your cousin's no. kids look no, no, white no, no, with red no, hair. No, 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 so, no, no, Rashawn, no, no. your grandma no, no. looks white. Hang on, why did you sign the birth certificate then? Why? I was there and we was together and he had a little bit of peachiness to him when he first came out, but... Peachiness? I mean, you know, a little bit of pigmentation. I mean, right. he was a little bit... And cause he looked I mean, white. What, what, what is your heritage then? There, you have what, must have a lot of white people in your background. No, it's not a lot. A, a lot. My mom black, my dad black, Mo black. All my other brothers was black. Yeah, but before that, I mean, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-great-grandparents? Grandparents black, both of them. Tell me what your uh, mom said. Cherokee, but Cherokee, that's like great-great-great-great-great-great way down the line. But it don't matter. Like I already said, genes come from <clears throat> all the way down the line. So what happened to Jace? What do you mean? Because he looks like me. Like I said, he got my genes. Your genes? I'm more man than you. <laughs> Ooh. That, that was a great one, too. That was yeah. Great. Now, is it true that Mo put these thoughts in your head? Yeah, because I haven't seen him for eight months. When we split up, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen, we don't have no contact with each other right. at all. Except for child support. No, so whose fault that is was that? just up until a, a few weeks ago. What are you going to do if he is your son? I don't know. If what, he is going to be yeah. my son? If, if it come to good. find out, I, I think it would be awesome to have somebody in, the, you know, in public and I, I got the white baby with me and... <laughs> He's my son. It'd be a nice story. I mean, because won't well, nobody believe it. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe I, it. So you but I even will. No, I would that? love it. No, I think it's interesting because I've never seen it before. So you split up. You just seem to disappear. And it does seem that um, Casey still cares for you a lot. And I don't understand all this, like, anger and the way he's acting because we were really close. What happened? Do you still love her? And you know 
our relationship. We was and really how close. Good yeah, I was we was to really you. close. But is there still some love in your heart for Casey? Yes, it is. Cause I, I just don't like the way it ended. But I think there will always be that. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you miss her some on some level? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was my best friend before, you know. Before we really made it official, she showed me some things that nobody has. You know what I mean? Like far as being. So it ain't that I'm just dogging her. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole situation is just different. So what are you gonna do? <clears throat> what happens between the two of you if this isn't your little boy? If it isn't mine's, I don't. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I, I honestly don't because I feel like she would just just drug me through this for no reason. Let's get to the DNA test result. So you're saying from day one that you met Rashawn, there wasn't anybody else in nobody your life? Nobody else. Nope. So even while you were split up, you said there was no one else? With him. So I guess you don't need to open this envelope because nope. you're 100% that yes. this little Jace is Rashawn's baby. So that's for you, I guess. Excuse me, looking over your shoulder, I don't know what it says. Coming up, the DNA results are in. <laughs> Next, Stacy, Gracie, AC, and Tyrone are all here to prove that Ernest is their real father. Talking about our mom, that she had an affair? There's nothing personal. It's personal if you're denying our four of us. Apparently, our mom is trashy. DNA drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Thirty-two-year-old Stacy, twenty-seven-year-old Gracie, twenty-five-year-old AC, and twenty-three-year-old Tyrone. Now, these adults are all siblings who have come here today because their father Ernest is denying each and every one of them. Now, just two years ago, Ernest broke the shocking news to his kids that he didn't believe he was their father. Now, as you can imagine, all four of these children were left feeling betrayed, and each one has their own painful story to tell. Watch this. I'm so disgusted with this man right now. He waited all these years to tell us that he's not our dad. Basically, our whole life's been a lie. Daddy think mama was with a, uh, another man. I don't know what to believe no more. I haven't spoken to daddy in over a year. This is way too much. Daddy said that none of us look like him, and I'm going to be hurt if we're not here. He said I don't look like him, but I think I do. About a year ago, Daddy, you know, he came to me and he just told me I might not be his biological son. This man always been there for me, you know. He been there when I played sports, when I was sick with Crohn's disease, you know, I damn near died. He was the only man there for me. He was pretending to be a dad. He he was pretending to be my dad. Actually, I'm mad about that because he won't tell us why. I mean, of course, I don't look like him, but... Yeah, that don't make sense. I mean, why? Why would he just tell all of us? He must don't think he have no kids. When I look at this picture, I've, I'm hurt all over because that's all I thought of him as my dad. And it hurts bad if it's not. I feel betrayed. I feel hurt. How can my dad, how can my dad deny me? This is the only dad I know. I'm 27 years old. I was lied to for 27 years. I don't care what he says. I do believe that he's our father and we'll find out tomorrow. Well, there's a lot of emotion around this, isn't there, Gracie? Uh, yes, ma'am. What hurts the most? Him denying us his own flesh and blood. He's denying all four of us, and I think we all look like him. Now, take me back to when you found out uh, about um, this. When I, um, I guess me and my dad was driving to a local Walmart and he just stopped urgently and he just looked at me and he said, Gracie, you might not be my daughter. He said, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know if you're my daughter or not. How did you deal wow. with that? Wow. Um, it was hurtful. It was very it hurtful. It sounds like he did it in a very casual way. Now, let me, let me ask you, Stacy, when did he start denying you? Well, first was born. Did he tell you? When did he no, tell you? he didn't tell me. I ain't find it. I would, uh, through him, I found it out through a family member. How long ago was this? It was like 14. We all think yeah. she looks yeah. just like my dad, so yeah. we don't know what to believe. Yeah. So, now, AC, 
Sue, what about you? When did he tell you that he had doubts? Um, I think I was around 15 or 16 years old. He actually told both of us. He said, I don't think you and Tyrone, my kid, or whatever. And I'm like, what? Why would you say something like that or whatever? But he never gave us answers. And that's why we're here today to we find out why. We, we want answers. answers. Yeah. We want answers. So, what kind of relationship did you have growing up with, well, the guy is now denying he's your dad, with Ernest. What kind of relationship, Tyrone? To be honest, we had a close, a close uh, relationship. Was he there for you? Oh, yeah, he always was there. Now, what kind of relationship did you have with your dad uh, growing up? Me and my dad, up? we have a close relationship. So, with him to say something like this, this is... Have you this. argued with him since he uh, said that? Yes. Because yeah. my mom, I, I believe my mom. And she and says, my mom says, says no that's my dad, I believe her. Okay. <laughs> and so what is his reasons for denying all of you? He he's say saying we don't, we don't look, look like, like him. him. He's <laughs> fat and we're <laughs> skinny. <laughs> he say I'm too light skinned. He's saying that your mom cheated on him one, two, three, four yeah, times. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So he's basically speaking bad about my mom and I don't like that. So if he doubts you from the, the day you're born, then he st sticks with your mom and then doubts you, and then sticks with your mom again, then yep. doubts you, and then sticks with your mom and then doubts you. And I don't understand it. it. Yes. Well, Ernest has been listening backstage, and I think it's time we bring him out so we can hear his side of the story. But before we meet him, listen to why he has serious doubts about all four of these children. I've had doubts about these kids since day one. These kids, I love them, but they're not mine. I asked their mother several times whether or not I was their father. She always told me they were mine, so I stuck around and raised them as my own. Now this is Stacy. Around the time that her mother got pregnant, she was having sex with several different men. So how do I know I'm her father? Now let me tell you why Gracie isn't mine. Her mom was doing a lot of partying during the time she got pregnant with her. A couple of my friends also told me Gracie wasn't mine. Now, Asa, I never felt a connection between her and I. Not as a child and not today. Now, let me tell you why Tyrone isn't mine. His mother's father, who is now deceased, told me I wasn't his dad. None of these kids look like me. I really can't see any resemblance. They're all dark and I'm light. I have a strong feeling that this DNA test is going to prove that I'm not their father. I've been a good dad to these kids, but I can't live this lie anymore. It is now time for the truth to come out. Wow, well, let's welcome wow. Ernest. Hey, Gracie. 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 Hi, Daddy, how can you, how can you do it like that? Why would you say something like that? This is so well, hurtful, girl. Right. God has been in your life for the time to say you're well, not my daughter. I had, to wait, those reasons. I had to wait until you all grow up and be old enough to handle no. it. No, well, we could have handled it if we was 15, 16. Why you didn't tell us then? Yeah. Did you hear some things? And for Did him you... to sit there and say he never had a connection to me, that's... Is that just, the first time you've heard that? Yes, I did. Well, it's, it's not just I'm you. Not it's you. not that's you why. personally. It's just from we never brush, really bonded as parent, as father and daughter. Yeah, like we probably we never have. will. And you on national TV talking about our mom that she had an affair? There's nothing personal. So but... it's personal if you're denying all four of us. You saying none of us. So apparently, <laughs> apparently our mom is trashy. No, it's, uh, it's not. All right, so let's start with your older children. What are your doubts about Stacy being your child? Well, I had doubts from day one about Stacy. How long were you with their mom? Over 10 years. Over 10 years. So if you had doubts from Stacy from day one, why, why stay with her for another nine years? Actually, <laughs> actually, I love children. You love children? I love children. If you have doubts about Stacy, then Gracie, what are your doubts about her? If she cheated on me once, I just believe she'd cheat on, she cheated some more. What about AC? We was young and partying and having fun. We had lots of friends. Yeah. yeah. And then what about Tyrone? It sounds like you two were so close. I just can't let him you know, let this lie go on any further, oh, they have to know. Is it about looks? It have a lot to do with that, you know. Look at me, I'm fat, I'm tall and fat, and I just don't see no genes and traits there. Okay, okay. Don't, do we look like our mom? 
Yes. No. So do you think any of the children look like you? No. Stacy yes. looks just like him. Look at the face. <laughs> look at her. She looks just like my dad. <laughs> what is going to happen? She, is... I think she's his and not none of us. She looks oh. more like him than all of us. He's not yeah. like yeah. 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 All right, now, Ernest just told us why he doesn't believe he's the father of Stacy and Gracie and AC and Tyrone. So when we come back, We'll get those DNA test results. See you there. Next. Four DNA test results could <laughs> devastate this family. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Later, rumors are driving Chris to deny he's the father of Stephanie's little boy. Another guy even told me that he had sex with Stephanie. He also said that he could be Skylar's father. Drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to four siblings, Stacy, Gracie, AC and Tyrone. And you're all here. You want to prove that Ernest is their father. Meanwhile, you feel in your heart and soul that they are not your children. They're not, but I'm, I'm, I'm praying that they what are. What are you going to do if it turns out that one or more or all of them are not your biological children? I still love them and... You know, hopefully they'll accept me. What about, what about you? How will you deal with that? If he's not our dad? Yeah. I don't know what I would do. I would probably go crazy because... I mean, even if he is my father or not, he had no connection with me, so I don't know what I feel. I probably wouldn't feel anything. Really? I still love you. No, he don't. So I think it's time that we actually come to the DNA test results. So let's go uh, youngest to oldest. Okay, Tyrone, Tyrone, do you want to open this? Yes, I'll open Okay. It. I don't know what it says, so excuse me if I stand here. Mm. What does it say? <laughs> I, he is my dad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so AC, let's find out. <laughs> He is the father. <laughs> Does it make you look back now you never had that bond and yet you are father and, and daughter? Do you regret some of the past now? Yes, I do. Do you, anything that you want to say to AC in light of that? Well, I'm sorry that, you know, it went the way it's been going, but we're going to work on this. We have time to work on it. So, okay, so let's come to Gracie, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Please, Mama, please. <laughs> he is her he father, is. yeah. <laughs> and Stacy. <laughs> you are the father. No, uh, he is not the I father. Know. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's, fine. it's all right. I still look. Oh wow. Oh, so that's interesting because you were saying you were saying that out of all of your siblings, you thought that your sister. Stacey... He looked just like you. We'll work through it. You still love her life? I still love her. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stacy, how are you? Oh. Are you sorry for denying all of us? I apologize to you all, but I, I mean, that's the way I felt, and that's what I was thinking, you know? Now you know at least three of your six children are yours. Oh, all right, we'll be right back.
next. Rumours are driving Chris to deny he's the father of Stephanie's little boy. Another guy even told me that he had sex with Stephanie. He also said that he could be Skylar's father. Later, is Rashawn being brainwashed into denying his child? Until you two become professors of genetics. Thank you. I ain't the smartest man in the world. You are the father. You're up on stage. DNA drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Okay, this is Stephanie. Now, Stephanie is here to prove to her ex-boyfriend Chris that he's the father of her son Skylar. And sitting next to her is Chris's mother. Yeah, that's Chris's mother sitting next to her, uh, Helen. Now she's surprisingly on Stephanie's side in this DNA battle. Chris claims he doesn't believe he's the father because another man revealed to him that he could be Skylar's father. And Chris also came here today with some support. This man, who calls himself Jimmy Jam, has been a father figure to Chris and claims Stephanie slept with at least 12 other men. Now, let's listen to Stephanie and Helen's side of this painful story. Chris and I were together for a whole year. I loved him and I thought he loved me too. But when I told him I was pregnant, he told me to suck his and go to hell. Chris hasn't done anything for Skylar. He won't buy him diapers. He don't take him to the bar. He don't do nothing. He's only seen him two times and he's only held him for maybe five minutes. My son is acting like an idiot. Chris doesn't do anything for Skylar. I am so ashamed of my son. Chris knows better. I did not teach him to be this way. Thank God for Chris's mother, Helen. I call her mom. She loves Skylar and she knows he's her grandson no matter what. Chris says I cheated and that Skylar looks nothing like him. He has his eyes, his nose, his hair, his everything. Stephanie is a good girl. She never cheated on my son. When I prove that Chris is the father, all I want is for him to be a part of Skylar's life. Stephanie, just tell me again, you tell him, you tell Chris you're pregnant and he says what to you? <laughs> he told me to go to hell. Oh. Take me back, what kind of relationship did you have with this guy? Uh, we had a great relationship. We didn't fight, we didn't argue, nothing. Never. So what went Never. wrong? I don't know. <laughs> so you don't know why he took off or anything? No. Nope. So since that day, since he told you, didn't exactly say congratulations, <laughs> how have the relationship been between you and him? We don't talk. I have not seen him at all. But what about his son? Has he come round? No. Nothing? Nothing no, at all? never. He has seen him twice in two years. He hasn't bought him diapers. He hasn't bought him wipes. He hasn't bought him Christmas. He hasn't done for His nothing. mother bought nothing. my kids Christmas and he I didn't. bought them Christmas. Wow. I see Skylar. I change his diapers. Yeah. Wow. Him. Quit lying. Now, I thought was interesting is that uh, you're sitting on this side. You're not sitting next to your son. How do you no. feel about Chris denying your grandson? I did not teach him to be like that. Well, we're going to yeah. meet Chris and his father figure, Jimmy Jam. I don't just know. Well, well, Jimmy Jam um, needs to be out, out there. Here. Well, I don't well, know. He, well, Jimmy Jam needs to be right up there. Okay. Right up there. He don't yeah. need to be on this side. Well, what I want to do, here's what we'll do first. I want to hear. Hmm. Let's hear first why they are denying baby Skylar. Watch this. I thought me and Stephanie was in a serious relationship, but she was screwing around on me the whole time. I broke up with her because of it. Me and Stephanie was already split up when she got pregnant. I know that I'm not her son's father. Another guy even told me that he had sex with Stephanie. He also said that he could be Skylar's father. This Stephanie girl is nothing but trouble. She's pinning the baby on poor Chris and I will not let her take advantage of him. My mom is taking Stephanie's side. I'm her son. She should believe me, not her. I love Chris like he's my own son. It's really pissing me off that his mother turned against him. I don't have anything to do with this child, and I don't feel bad about it because he's not mine. My mother is siding with the wrong person, and I want an apology when I prove them both wrong. 
right. Let's meet Chris and Jimmy Jam. What the hell? How come you ain't supporting him? How come you ain't supporting him? You only mad Jimmy Jam because you ain't one of them 12 years Whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know. That's why you mad. You're my blood mother and you should be by me. OK, have a seat. If you act like a man like I raised you, son, I would be on your side. Minute. So why did you split up in the first um, place? We split up because she doesn't seem to know. We had difficulties, and all we wanted to do was argue. Did you have that conversation? I don't think this is working out. Goodbye, or did you just walk out? I pretty much just walked out. So Jimmy Jam, where do you come into all of this? What have you heard about Stephanie? I've heard she slept with like twelve different men. You don't know me. We've met twice. Oh, you hear? You hear? You hear? So you've never seen okay. him. You don't have. And I am because he is uh, my grandson. I, I have seen him. Yes, I have. Do you think because he looks I, like you? No, I don't. I think he looks more like the other man. Did he come and tell you that? Uh, yes, I did talk to him, and he told me yes, there is a possibility no, that he could be the no, father. No, no, it ain't. What are you gonna do if this little boy does turn out to be yours? If he if he turns out to be mine, yes, I'll be a man and I'll step up and I'll take care of my responsibility. That's the son I'm talking but, about. But That's what he, I want to hear. If he is not mine, yeah. then... For him to deny Skylar like that really pisses me off. Okay, well, up next... I love my son. Up next, look, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out which side has been telling the truth when we reveal the DNA test results. Stay with us. <laughs> next, the DNA results are in. Okay. Find out the deck you mine. Later, is Rashawn being brainwashed into denying his child? Drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Okay, we've been talking to Stephanie, who's furious at her ex boyfriend Chris for denying their two year old son, Skylar. And Chris's mother, Helen, is taking Stephanie's side in this bitter DNA battle. He's extremely hurt that his own mother turned against him, so he's brought someone else for support. This is his father figure, uh, Jimmy Jam. How many children do you have, did you say? Uh, I have another... I have a six-year-old son, and I have another son by another woman, and my girlfriend, at the time right now, is pregnant with my daughter. So you have three children to three different... three different women? Yeah. What about Skylar? Skylar's yeah. yours. Hey, it has not been proven yet. It has not been proven yet. All right, yet, so and I when not... they do, you can kiss her feet. How about Sorry, that? You, Chris, Chris, you and Jimmy Jam are, are claiming basically that Stephanie's kind of sleeping around. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you have three children by three different women. Yeah. 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 Who's sleeping around? Okay. Who's sleeping around? Not Stephanie. Let's come to the DNA test results. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, who wants to open this? Let Grandma open, open it. it. Let Grandma open grandma? it. Grandma? Go ahead, let him open it. Okay. Find out that that kid ain't mine. Okay. It's Chris my son! Father! father. Yes! Yeah. 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 Yes! Oh, oh. Yeah. Go on, baby! Just a minute. Let's get that picture of your son. So you now have four children. Yes, by Four different women. Yes, ma'am. And you still but say I'm the hoe. anything you want to say to this? I want to apologize. I'm sorry. What do you want to say to that little boy's mum? The little boy you've only seen twice. I apologize you... for Come denying on. the son. Yes, I apologize. And how many times have you seen that little boy? Uh, about twice. So he probably knows the mailman better than he knows you. Yeah. Probably yes. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do? How are you gonna I'm keep? I'm gonna be a man and. Step up to my responsibilities right. and take care of what I'm going to do. Are you just saying that or are you actually going to do well, it? I'm going to do it. Best believe I'm going to do it. Are you still angry with your mom? I am for taking a side, but I... Oh, hey. But I did it because... Why? 
He's your son. He's my grandson. True. Yeah. Thank God your mum was there when you weren't, huh? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So you're going to have to be introduced into his life very slowly. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. A little suggestion that from now on you practice safe sex. How old are you? I am 23. 23? <laughs> and you have four children by four different women? Yes, ma'am. Right. As much as I'd like to meet you again, I do not want to be doing Chris the series. Yes. You get what I'm yes. saying? Yes. <laughs> yes. I know you will stay in touch with your son. Yes. Because your mum will make damn sure if you... If it's... It doesn't matter what she says. Okay. Thank you. Yes. That, that, that's my child right here. That is my child. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it doesn't matter what she says. No, and if you all live in the same town, you need to make yeah. sure that yep. your children don't meet up. We in only under... live like 20 minutes apart. So I think four children by the age of 23 is enough, don't you? Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm done. Did you apologize to Stephanie? Yes, I did. I told oh, okay. you I did sorry. We're going to take a break. We'll be right yeah. back. Next, the DNA results are in. <laughs> you are the fire. You're up on stage. <laughs> DNA drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Casey and I had a great relationship way back then, but oh, have things changed. I'm black, my mom's black, my dad's black, and my brother Mo is black. And this baby is white. When I seen that picture of the baby on Facebook, I immediately showed my brother. Jason's a white man's baby, and my brother is black. Okay, yes, he's white. Look at me. I have blonde hair, blue eyes, okay? Look at that baby. Could anybody not think look that we should make a white-looking look baby? Look, 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 look. I ain't never seen it before. Let's get to the DNA test results. Yeah. 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 Now, so that's for you, I guess. Excuse me, looking over your shoulder. I don't know what it says. Yeah, so, what's it say? Chase is mine. Oh. What you got to say? What you got to say? That's my nephew. I apologize. But at the same time, that baby still didn't hey, look like well, my nephew. Hey, well, until you two have... That's my, that's my nephew, well, then. Well, until you two become professors of genetics... <laughs> Thank you. I ain't the smartest man in the world, but I ain't the smartest man in the world. But if y'all see, do that look like my brother's baby by just looking at it? Yes! Now let this... <laughs> and thank you. Now let this be one for the books in case somebody tries this again. What do you want to say? You really had yourself convinced he wasn't your son. <clears throat> What do you want to say? She said she never went with it since the day she I met I apologize, you, you know, I, I really do. You apologize? For, you know what I'm saying, for having... Hold on, you apologize? Like I said... No, I think I, I deserve the word sorry. Not because I'm not... Because you are I'm, sorry. I'm a, yes. I apologize okay. for feeling or letting anybody, you know, get in my head and think that. But as well, not for thinking, you know what I'm saying, that just because he has white hair, uh, light hair, straight blonde hair, blue eyes, like, you got to understand that me being black and never seeing nothing like this before in my life. But, Rose, you know what I'm saying? You're not that like, black. I've never seen you're not that exactly. black. I mean, you know, hey, my other kids I came know. out dark. Yeah, I know. Curly hair. Do you want to see your son? Yeah. Yeah, is, is it okay for him to see his son? You're going to have to take it slowly because from what I hear, he's hardly ever met you and you're a, a, just a big old black strange man to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Go spend some time with your son. We'll be right back. Hey. DNA drama. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Now, do you know someone who looks like this? <laughs> We're looking for the hairiest, grizzliest guys around. So if you know someone who desperately needs a Trisha Mountain Man makeover, give us a call at 1-855-4-TRISHA.